very regimented, specified, regulated um, Q&A or interrogation, depending on the level. And the feedback serves as uh, human intelligence, obviously, right? Now, since we're talking about people, deceit, uh, counterintelligence, stuff like that factors into this, and we'll talk about how we can uh, assess the the veracity of the information, right? Um, how factually accurate is the intelligence that we're gaining from our source as a human intelligence collector? Um, because we're going to have to make sure that that, that information um, has the significance that it needs to have in order to facilitate our investigation. Once that information has been collected, once this human intel has been collected, it is then transformed into intel. Once I should say, once this um, this information is collected, it is then transformed into intelligence and the appropriate authorities are made known on the significance of the intel. So, I mean, pretty, uh, pretty obvious. There is a problem, however. There's a weakness, if you will, to human intel. Um, the problem is, and again, this is not from me, this is from uh, Keith Lee, um, human intel alone, in and of itself, right, is seldom capable of producing sufficient information for accurate decision making, right? What ends up happening is that based on this human intel intelligence, right, we have the collector, we have the provider, if you will, we have the intelligence information, right, I'll put I -N -I -N -F -O. we have the intelligence information. This information is given to a decision maker, obviously a person in power. Decision maker. And the argument is that um, human intelligence in and of itself is typically not sufficient enough for the decision maker to act. However, human intelligence information in association with geospatial information in a social association with signals information and so on and so on and so on then furnishes decision makers with enough overall intelligence to effectively assess the situation and make um, uh, the best possible decision based on the information. The point being that human intelligence information is seldom ever enough. It's not a sufficient, though a necessary, condition to um, making accurate decisions. And there are obviously cases in which that's not true, right? There are exceptions to that. Again, um, I've provided the reference for that, for that claim. Next point is to move on to number three, which is signals intel. Number three is S I G. And actually, I'll just use the abbreviation. Signals Intel. Right. Signals Intel. Um, and here's what Signals Intel is. Um, it is, quote, intelligence derived from the interception and exploitation of foreign electromagnetic admissions. Right? Um, and this is obviously susceptible to counterfeit, um, counterfeit enemy messages. So, um, how do we make sense of how do you make sense of this electromagnetic uh, emissions? So, we'll put it down. Intelligence. I'll just put intelligence derived from uh, how does it, how do you mean? Uh, the interception, which is important. Intelligence derived from the interception um, of foreign. Uh, electromagnetic emissions, EM emissions. Okay, in order to make sense of um, signals intelligence, we have to recognize the constituent parts of um, uh, signals intelligence. So what I'm going to do here, and um, a lot of this was facilitated by um, the article, the, the book chapter written by Keith Lee, um, is to describe the various facets of signals intelligence. However, uh, what I've also done is I've further, um, I further supported the description of the various aspects of signals intelligence by citing and referring to .gov pages and, and so on. So hopefully this is, it should be pretty, pretty, pretty solid. It should be pretty dense. Okay, um, there are three elements to signals intelligence. So let's look at the three elements, right? Three elements. So if we're talking about five intelligence uh, disciplines, then with respect to signals intelligence, there's three subordinate elements of 
signals intelligence, right? The first is, and we'll put it, okay, the first is communications intelligence. Right? Communications intelligence, abbreviated C-O-M-I-N-T. Communications intelligence, and this is, quote, intelligence derived from foreign communications systems by other than intended recipients. That's the definition, right? I'll read it again. Intelligence derived from foreign communication systems by other than intended recipients. What does that mean? Okay, um, here is our country. We'll say our country is country one. Here is another country, country two. Here is some third country. Uh, I will just do it to make it visually easy. Country three. Two had the intent, right? This is where intent comes in. I am T -E -N -T. Country 2 had the intent of sending the signal to country 3, and what we did was we intercept that signal. We intercept some of that signal, right? Um, this is um, communications intelligence. So I'm going to get intelligence derived from foreign communications outside of our country, foreign communication systems, by other than the intended um, uh, recipient. It could also be within the same country, right? But just as an example, um, country two is intending to send a message to country three. We intercept that message and we recognize what it was that the intent of that message is, right? Um, so forms of communications intelligence. So within this now, we can even talk about forms. And there are three. I think there are three, but that's what I, that's what I was able to find. Three forms, and I'm sure there's more. Three forms of um, communications intelligence. The first is voice. Obviously, the most prevalent, right? Voice communication, intercepting phone calls, um, and so on. I would imagine that um, text texting would fall in this. I don't know for certain, but I would imagine that it does. Um, two, Morse code, right? Intercepting Morse code, and then lastly, um, radio telepathy. R a d i o t e l e. It's just a telepathy, uh, teletype, right? Radio teletype. Um, so. With respect to um, communications intelligence, three forms, voice, Morse code, radio teletype, obviously, as the definition um, states, this information was um, either thought to be private or willfully encrypted um, with the intent of sending that information to some third party. That third party may or may not receive that information. The information is intercepted, decoded, made sense of, um, and this is a form of... Um, signals intelligence, uh, but specifically as a subset, as a form of signal, signals intelligence, um, communications intelligence. All right, so that's the, the first element of the three elements. The next, still within um, signals intelligence, number two, number two is electronic intelligence, E-L-E-C-T-R-O-N-I-C, -E intelligence. And this is E L I N T, electronic intelligence. And this is um, intelligence derived from foreign non communications elect electromagnetic radiations emanating from other than nuclear uh, detonations and radioactive sources. What in the world does that mean? I'll read it again. Intelligence derived from foreign non communications electromagnetic radiation, key, electromagnetic radiation emanating from other than nuclear um, uh, detonations or radioactive sources. Obviously nuclear power plants, um, um, nuclear repositories, nuclear testing sites are going to be radioactively positive. But you can imagine, right, if we're here, and we're country one, and here's some other country, country two, and we know that they have a nuclear reactor here, they have a repository here, and they do testing here, well, if we get hints of um, electromagnetic um, quantifiable, and what's I want to be um, foreign communication, electromagnetic radiation, right? If we get uh, electromagnetic radiation emissions from here, it's not going to be anything out of the ordinary because we expect to get it out of there because that's what we know that they have. However, imagine for just for this, and this is this is a gross generalization, but just to make it obvious, just imagine that they have a, a secret layer, a secret place where they're doing testing. Um, and despite the fact that they're trying to keep it secret, there's electro 